It's been 11 years since the Bluffton football team claimed a Northwest Conference title and 12 since they've been to the postseason. This fall, they'll try to end those respective droughts. What under new management, we continue our countdown to kickoff with John Rawlings giving us a closer look at the Pirates. Countdown to kickoff is brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. After just two seasons, Kyle Cutnaw stepped down from the helm and Jeff Richards became the new captain at Bluffton. I'm a local guy. I was born and raised here. I went to high school here, went to college here. When I was a kid, I used to joke around about, you know, someday I'm going to come back and, and be the coach and win a championship. And it, it's it, how it worked out. I'm pretty comfortable with him. We, during the offseason, we lifted a lot and he came in pretty early. And so we got time to get comfortable with him and get used to him a little bit. Last year, the Pirates finished 7-3, and three, had a huge win against regional finalist Van Buren, but missed the playoffs by less than a point. It was pretty exciting. I mean, going 7-3 and three was really exciting for the whole team, and we thought we were going to make playoffs, and that just didn't happen for us. You can tell they were a little discouraged by missing out on the playoffs last year, but also with one of those, they understand that that's in the past and they have to worry about the present. So they're working really hard. It's not something we dwell on with last season. It's more of... You know, we don't want to feel what they felt at the end of the year. We want to move on past that. Despite the turnaround season, the winningness program in the NWC is still not satisfied. The Pirates are chasing that playoff spot and a conference crown, something they haven't held outright since 2004. And it's one of those things that I, my staff and I, we've really stressed, you know, tradition. And there's a great tradition here. Um, and that they're a part of that tradition and they have standards that are expected that they're supposed to meet. Nothing changes overnight, that's uh, a culture thing. But it's one of those things, yeah, I definitely expect to have Bluffton at the top of the NWC. And this year's Pirates will be chasing conference dreams without four-year starter Mitchell Alt. While at Bluffton, Alt became the program's record holder and career passing yards, completions, and touchdown passes. But his understudy is confident in what he learned from the Bluffton great. You have somebody really good to watch and learn from, so you come in and you feel a lot better because you're like, I watched him play, so I'm doing what he's doing. I feel like I can step up a little bit. Coach Richards is bringing physicality to his new Bluffton team and a special attention to detail. It drives us crazy when the little things aren't focused on. So it's one of those, we're not where we want to be quite yet, but we will be, and when we will be, we'll be very successful. In Bluffton, John Rawlings, Whoa! Your News Now Sports.